Hello, Conuts here, and I just want to put together a quick video to show off this incredible Destiny 2 armor picker tool. It was made by Majago, or Majago. Uh, forgive me if I'm not pronouncing that correctly. But yeah, this is called the D2 Armor Picker. You can find it with this link. You can Google D2 Armor Picker Majago. Um, it's an awesome tool. We're just going to walk through it real quick. When you get here, you're going to want to log in, and it'll the first time, it'll ask to link to your Steam account or your Xbox Live or whatever you whatever platform you play on. That way it can access your vault um, and get to all of your items in your inventory and in your vault on your account. Um, and uh, yeah, so this is it. This is what it looks like. I'll just walk through step by step. Starting off, you're going to you know select the class you want to work with. Um, there's Titan Hunter Warlock, of course. I'm on Titan most of the time, so we run Titan. And then here's the value selection you can get. And notice when you hover over these, it actually tells you the difference between all these. Like your discipline, which you know reduces your grenade cooldown, it tells you at what tier you're going to get uh, a 30, 32 second cooldown at tier 10 at 100, and then all the way down to a minute 33 here, or longer if you're on stasis, right? So this actually tells you the what the stats do and how they affect your build right here it says how many stat mods do you want to use um i actually like to set this one to zero and the reason i do that is because when i make builds i find it uh best and most powerful to start with the armor's base stats because that you know shows you exactly what the armor can do just with its own base stats and a reason for that is because the recovery and intellect mods stat mods that boost those stats are more expensive than the other ones and so in order to make the most of my of my armor energy budget so i can get the most mods on i like to keep the natural recovery and intellect high and then you can use stat mods to boost up those other ones if you want them higher because that will save up some energy capacity in your armor pieces for more mods um, and then i'll just keep your build cleaner and easier to work with uh, you can lock the exotic you want to use. We'll get to that in a second. And then this can also set if you want like mods or stasis aspects and fragments that add and subtract stats. If you want to work them into your build, this will um, consider that as well. Again, I like to set, turn these off because I like to work first of all with the base stats of the armor in my vault, in my inventory, so that I can work from there. Right here, assume items are masterworked. This is a great idea to leave on um, because... That'll give you an extra tier in all of your stats. Masterwork materials are pretty easy to come by and pretty plentiful. Although, you know, a lot of players, if you are low on masterwork material, you can turn this off and it'll give you uh, more of an experience of what you can work with right now without masterworking anything. But for players who have been around for a while and have masterwork materials, definitely want to leave that on. And so let's talk about how making a build works, right? Um, and uh, the, one of the reasons I wanted to do this is because I played PvP and PvE a lot, and I got sick of having some of my best armor um, that was the same piece for PvE and PvP, and I'd have to switch mods over and like remove reserves mods and put on targeting mods or on flitching mods, and it was just annoying to have to constantly change mods, so I wanted a full set of PvE armor and a full set of PvP armor that I could just switch to easily. And this is how I did it, right? So for PvP, you can pick whatever exotic you like. Maybe you're like Stompies on Hunter, or you know, maybe you Crutch on Mask of Bacchus or whatever. Doesn't matter. You pick the exotic you want, and then uh, go with the stats you want. For for PvP, obviously recovery is super important, and then intellect is good too. So I like to max. Re let's go max recovery, and then we want to get our super back fast. So let's go 80 intellect, right? And right here we've got all of the armor sets that include the Heart of Inmost Light that will give us with no mods. 100 recovery and 80 intellect these are all the sets you can click on them and it'll tell you you know what pieces they have one thing to look at here on the right is tiers it tells you the total number of stat tiers that that armor set has um, a tier being a, a a set of 10 right and so the higher this is the stronger that set is you know this one has 30 um, it's going to give you more stats overall because um, than this one that's 28. now we want to keep getting specific you know pvp you want some resilience and, uh, you know, 30 is the most we can get while having 100 recovery and intellect based on the arm we have. But 30 can be, that's why we keep these stats off, because that way we can use these cheaper resilience mods that are only three and, and beef it up as much as we want. Um, and then let's go for some discipline mobility too. And then boom, these are the three armor sets 
that will give me all of those stats with no mods on. So you can look at these, kind of take a look. We got some armor pieces. Some of them maybe are sitting in my vault. I wasn't thinking of using them. Um, and then we can find a set we like, see how they're different. Uh, they've all got, you know, similar things here, but maybe this one's closer to, these two are closer to 40. So maybe you can put on a cheaper resilience mod to get to tier four. It doesn't matter. You pick the one you want. Um, let's say this one, the Pyrrhic Ascent Helm, Iron Fellowship Gauntlets. Or maybe we'll go this one, Pyrrhic Ascent Helm, Legacy of Gauntlets, Hold Fast Greaves, right? And so you can get all those and put together your build, masterwork them, and have them in your inventory ready to go. And then now let's clear, put together an ad clear PVE build with Dune Marchers, right? So let's see, in PVE, we're going to, I still want 100 recovery. And then intellect, maybe not so important. So maybe keep this down at 60. And then for PVE, I like really high discipline. I mean, lots of grenades. Um, so I keep that high and then uh, go high mobility as well. And look, here's the... Well, let's take off that mobility so we have some options. Um, so if we look at these two, this one's got that same Pyrrhic Ascent Helm that we had earlier. So if I go with this build, I'll have to use the same helmet for two different sets. And I don't want to do that, but if I look at this one, Carrot Type 2, Iron Fellowship, uh, Crushing Plate, and Dunes, this is a completely different set. So I can commit to this set. Besides, this one has more mobility and less resilience. And in PvE, I don't really need resilience. So this is a build, I look at this and think, oh, this is a really good PvE build. Put all this armor together, and then boom, I can throw five mods on there, have 100 discipline as well. And it's a completely different set from the other one I made. So now I've got two different sets, both with great stats, ready to go, and I can switch them at any time. And it's just because this tool gave me all of those clues. Now, if you really want to min-max, you can turn all of your big options on. And then this will tell you this will give you lots of options. No exotic at all, or, you know, um, to click that and go any exotic, right? And then let's select. These are all of the builds. It'll, this drop down menu right here, or pop up menu, will tell you all of the triple hundred builds you could have. Um, so if you really want to have huge stats, so maybe, you know, like if you're a hunter that plays PvP a lot, you could do this, right? have tons of mobility, recovery, and intellect. You can even get some good resilience on there too, right? Um, and, you know, that just, there's so much you can do. All right, discipline. And then look, here are the builds that you can, you can use for that. Um, so yeah, then you can pretty much put together anything you want, any, any exotic, any set. It's a really powerful tool um, it's a really intuitive and easy to use tool. In my opinion, it's stronger and simpler and cleaner and more intuitive than the DIM loadout optimizer. And I love DIM. It's, it's an awesome resource, but I think for the sake of building armor sets and putting, organizing your armor and putting together armor builds, this is just the, the, the best and purest tool that we have for, you know, putting together your armor and it's really helpful if you've got a lot of armor with high stats sitting in your vault but you don't know how to get the most out of it with the fewest wasted stats for exactly the build you want so you pick the play style or whatever you are looking for specifically and this will tell you exactly what armor you need to use for it and this really helped me clean out my vault because i had a lot of high stat armor that actually wasn't contributing you know to to the builds i was going to run and it helped me to organize my inventory because now if I want to switch to like Gambit or something and I want my Gambit build and, you know, who knows what you're running for Gambit, but whatever you want to do, maybe, you know, you're floating around with Lion Rampant and you want, you know, this stuff high in, in Gambit, you can do this and find a set that uses different gear from your other ones. And, you know, there it is and put it together and have all your loadouts, you know, ready to go. It's an awesome tool. I recommend it to everyone. So thanks to Majego for for making this. It's awesome.